Hello everybody, Berto Guy here and welcome back. Alright, so yes, it's been a very, very long time. So we're going to see if this works because um, the main reason why I stopped kind of downloading is because I kind of opened uh, a can of worms. <laughs> um, I went and installed Windows 10 on this piece of crap laptop that I have. <laughs> And uh, it didn't seem to like it very much, so I reverted back to 8.1, and we're just going to see how it takes it, because I've been doing a little bit of testing, and after a while it seems to kind of like bug out a little bit, so I'm kind of hoping these settings that I have it on now kind of work fine and dandy. If not, I might have to resort to maybe a different kind of capture program for the meantime something a little less resource intensive but i'll look into that we'll we'll see how that goes right um so to talk about a little bit what i'm going to be doing here is uh yeah got a really beautiful map here um went online and oh that's nice thank you i i really need some some of that that's perfect i'll help me make a bed and it'll feed me and i'm gonna reward you later or one of your kind, anyways. Yeah, I'll go get some doggies. That would be really good. Oh, look, there's another sheep over there. And some cows. Uh, I really should make a crafting table, eh? Alright, so, yeah, what the plan is on this map is it has every biome in it. So that's pretty freaking awesome. I'm really happy about that. So now I know there's everything on this map. Uh, there's supposed to be, I think, five ocean monuments. But uh, one will suffice. Um, there are a lot of work to uh, put into those, so I'm pretty sure one will suit my needs just fine and dandy, right? So yeah, um, we have a mesa biome here on this side. Uh, I was looking for that sheep. I swear I see a sheep over here. Huh, that's kind of odd. Oh well, whatever. No big deal, no big deal. We'll find others. And I swear there was more than just one cow, but... Oh, there he is. There's two. Excellent. Oh, there's a whole herd. Excellent. Come over here. Thank you. Because you're going to feed me tonight. Awesome. That's great. This is perfect. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to starting kind of like a building series there because I kind of miss, uh, I miss doing this kind of stuff. Like, it was uh, pretty fun. And the fact that uh, there's so much has been implemented in the game, and I've been playing a lot of PC Minecraft as to oppose of Xbox, uh, Xbox One, right? And to know that they're going to come out with crossplay and all that good stuff, and I'm really looking forward to that. So looking forward to that. That means we're going to be kind of kept up to date. Pretty much, well, whatever the PC gets, we're going to get. So that's pretty friggin' awesome. I'm Oh, I can make a bed now. Booyah. No, we don't want to fall in there. Kaka. Oh, but it all starts right here. Ooh, that's kind of sexy, isn't it? Kind of dipping into the jungle back there. So I really kind of have no idea where I'm going to set up shop at the moment. Um, I haven't kind of explored this map at all, so I'm not exactly 100% sure uh, where we might set up camp. i got a few ideas of what I'm kind of looking for um, in doing, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I do want to sectionize certain things, so I know in this map there's a big portion of water, so I can build the... Um, what is it there? The like a mob farm over top of that and kind of have like that as an area like you know the gold iron golem farm in a different area ooh melons excellent be able to have a melon farm that's uh very awesome awesome indeed there you go did i collect all of that ah three is good enough even if i didn't get it all doesn't matter so yeah um I'm kind of hoping to get like everything kind of spread out all over the place because these are big maps there's no reason to have like everything squashed into one little area right so we could build like um, certain things in certain areas and make a big building for them and a nice little complex uh, sorting system and all that good stuff and yeah that's kind of like what i'm looking forward to um am i gonna get into redstone again and like kind of like build my own things uh at the point that there is now 
now that we're like so close to the PC, I kind of don't see the relevance of me trying to get into Redstone because there's so many things that have changed and I'm kind of like out of like touch with it a little bit. But I still do enjoy watching, you know, all the great ones like, you know, do their their little magic, right? So I do learn a lot of stuff from watching YouTube videos from all the other uh, permit crafters and all them. You know, I enjoy watching that series. That's kind of one of my favorites. Uh, watching Etho is probably the my most favorite uh, Minecrafter and like all of them he's got like an interesting mellow kind of mood like I am you know so that's pretty awesome um, yeah so uh, it's that uh, you know I'm really liking that that little tower thing I could almost see that being transformed into some kind of tower you know what I mean like uh, and then yeah, that almost looks pretty plausible. And then you could have, like, the mob farm there. But uh, I want to put it over water, though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But we're, first, we got to find a base of operations, a place where we can call home. There's a nice flat spot over there, a nice little castle in the distance or some kind of jobber like that. Um... Yeah, so I guess I'm going to wander around the map for a little bit and see if I can kind of find some some nice place to live because these maps are absolutely huge. Oh, and I know there's there's two villages here as well somewhere. Not exactly 100% sure. Um, I think it was supposed to be not far from here. Not really 100% sure. And I should kind of be looking at my map at the same time. But I think they're north north of here. Yeah, I should kind of go north, eh? That leads me into the jungle. Ooh, the jungle. So, I don't know. Maybe the jungle base, too, is kind of cool. You know, you could build, like, um, I was thinking, like, you know, like, a bunch of platforms hung in between the trees, you know, uh, all led there by, or you could build a platform around the tree, and then every little platform will have their own little kind of yeah, you know what? I'm going to kind of go with that. Actually, I like that as a starter base. You know, let's kind of not complicate things too much because then we can start here, make some nice little aerial bases, and then from that point on, maybe at one point or another, like we'll be able to jump into the nether and all that good stuff and be able to head off to the end after that. So... Yeah, let's try to advance things a little bit quick here so we can maybe maybe get our wings faster. That's kind of what we're really needing, like, right off the bat. And obviously, I might do an AFK fish farm. Um, you know, like, I haven't had, like, the best of luck with that kind of stuff, to be honest with you, which kind of sucks. Like, I had, um, what did I have? I got few AFK sessions and I think they're like hours like on end and I think I might have got like one mending book sometimes I may not have gotten any Just, I feel like I got really ripped off <laughs> so yeah I guess that's pretty much all it on that aspect of things but oh well it's no big deal we'll try it again we'll give it benefit of the doubt and you know but I did get lots of other stuff you know like uh, I was getting like lots of fishing rods and bows and all that other kind of good junk, right? Like, I don't want to go destroying too much of the foliage and stuff around here because I kind of like it. I want to kind of keep this like a, a little bit of a natural, natural habitat. Yeah. Yeah. So how are we going to do the get up and in the tree type thing? You know, we could do like the, the monkeys there and climb all over the place and get in there. But after a while, it's going to be kind of a little bit annoying. Oh yeah, and there's that crevice that goes down here too, eh? Mmm, free resources. Alright, so it's getting close to bedtime. I should actually make a bed. Speaking of bed, here we go. Awesome. So we'll just trim that off like this. Catch that. Throw the bed down. Can you all throw the bed down there? Alright, here, we'll just put it there. Can't sleep at night. Alright, we can wait till night time. But yeah... I think this is what the plan is. I'm going to go and uh, set a little bit of things up, figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, 
and here right on the edge of the jungle is kind of nice you know I don't want it to go too too far in the jungle um, not really needing to uh, at the moment I don't really want to like make this a permanent base camp but I figure just like a beginner camp you know where we can settle for food and maybe uh, get some minimal resources here so I think that's going to be a plan so I'm going to go and set all that up and figure out how I'm going to like you know connect some trees and make things look a little bit nice and natural around here so yeah all right so everybody i'll see you all in all righty and we're back yes we're back yes i'm definitely going to build something over there i'm just not sure 100 percent what yet oh it's getting nighttime. well what a quinky dink so so far this is kind of what i've kind of come up with as like little platforms as uh going around the the tree at the top here i'm going to add some like kind of structural parts to it to make it look like it's actually like being held up by the tree like um, underneath so it's going to kind of look decent and then up here we just kind of got like a uh, little platforms that we're going to uh going to kind of like use to I don't know make our base with a little bit just as like a beginning base so I figure like I'd do these trees here and have just kind of like you know just kind of working its way that way and stuff so yeah, um, that's kind of my plan for that. These trees that are out here in the front, um, except for that big one, I might actually keep that big one because it's just kind of like hides the hides it a little bit. But these other ones I've been using for kind of wood, so I can get the jungle wood for my platform here. And then here, uh, I guess it's gonna be kind of hard to show from here, but maybe I can go up. to me aren't you well I'm not breaking your branch so yeah the kind of the basic idea is for here it's just gonna make it go up kind of like stairway wise so it just kind of makes a nice roof um, probably go like stair and then go um, slab stair slab you know kind of thing all the way up to the all the way so it's enclosed and then kind of make my roofs look like that that's kind of like the decent plan for that anyways. Um, I also did start a mine as well. And that's one of the things I'm going to have to do there in a little bit. Because I still haven't found diamonds yet. Um, mind you, I didn't like put a huge, huge effort into like doing the mine yet. Um, just basically where it's going to go uh, all the way down. Mm -hmm. So I got this going all the way down to 10 and then maybe out maybe about 20 30 blocks that way afterwards so like it's not like a huge huge start but that's pretty much all it you know like uh, i'm gonna keep expanding here and uh, add a few little hidden farms actually you know what i might actually do a micro farm up there because this is just like the beginning right we don't want to like uh, expand this too much so that way it, it's like very noticeable we don't want this to be kind of noticeable but in a way to be noticeable <laughs> so that you can at least see it and stuff but you know it's kind of like my beginning or hidden first base type thing so yeah this is going to be pretty good so i don't want to make these videos too too long because i'm not really sure about the rendering time so i'm going to call that an episode for today so we pretty much well found a little area to start with uh, I got a little bit of a beginning of a settlement up there for us to do. That's another thing I was thinking of too, is I was thinking about putting branches, like kind of like extend and then putting um, the leaves all the way around it. So let me know if you think that would be a better idea, like to, to extend it and kind of have like the leaves kind of covering the bottom of a little bit of as well. And then maybe I probably wouldn't have to worry about too much on making a structural thing I'm a bobber for it to like sit on type thing you know what I'm saying yeah that's right got to make it look a little bit more realistic mm -hmm. so it's not like floating in the air right but that's it everybody that's all the time I got for today so I hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe mm -hmm.